Hello and welcome to this video series on Enterprise Portal in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. My name is Anis Ansari and I'm a program manager on the Enterprise Portal team. In this video we will see the rich search experience offered by Enterprise Portal. We will see how it integrates with the popular SharePoint Business Connectivity service allowing users to search for both data and metadata and finally we will also demonstrate how you can customize and extend the search capabilities based on your requirements. Enterprise Portal in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 delivers rich searching capabilities by integrating with SharePoint Business Connectivity Services. There are two flavors of SharePoint that you can install Enterprise Portal on. SharePoint Server 2010 which you have to buy and license and SharePoint Foundation 2010 which is the free version of SharePoint. SharePoint Server 2010 has the search capabilities built into it however if you are using SharePoint Foundation 2010 you also have to install Microsoft Search Server 2010 Express to enable the search functionality. Like SharePoint Foundation 2010 this is also available as a free download from Microsoft. Once you have installed SharePoint Server 2010 or SharePoint Foundation 2010 with Microsoft Search Server 2010 Express, you can now install the Enterprise Search component of Microsoft Dynamics AX. To do that, run Setup and click on the link to install Microsoft Dynamics AX components. On this screen you can see all the components that you can install. There is a component here for Enterprise Search. Notice that you can install Enterprise Portal and Enterprise Search both at the same time. In this video to keep the focus on Search I have already installed Enterprise Portal. We also have another detailed video on Enterprise Portal installation. So if, you, if that's something you are interested in you should check out that video as well. So select Enterprise Search and hit Next. This brings up the prerequisite checker. It's making sure that everything required for Enterprise Search to be installed is up and running. You can see everything came back as success. On this screen it's going to ask me for the password for the Business Connector Proxy account. Here I'm using my own account. It's recommended that you set up when you install Enterprise Portal or Dynamics AX you use a dedicated domain account and not your account. I'm just demoing this so I'm using my own account. Next is going to ask me for a search crawler account. This is the account that we will use to crawl all the data and index it. So ideally this should be a AX account that has uh, appropriate privileges and the read rights to the tables and other entities that you wish to crawl. Right now for testing purposes and for demo I'm just going to use my own account. But we do recommend that you create a dedicated account which is assigned to the crawler security role in Dynamics AX. Again that's the warning. I'm just demoing so I'm going along with that. You can see that everything is still working as expected. So click next and start installing Enterprise Search. Now this is going to take some time so I'm going to pause the video and resume when it comes back when everything is installed. So now the setup has come back and you can see that Enterprise Search was successfully installed. You can view the detailed log file or you can simply see the summary report. So I'm going to hit finish. This automatically brings up the summary report. Since everything was successful there aren't too many things in here. If there were errors you would see more information in here as well. Now let's go and check out Enterprise Search and see what are the configurations you can uh, tweak to make Enterprise Search work for you. Now that Enterprise Search was installed, let me show you SharePoint Central Admin and how you can use that to manage Enterprise Search. So go to All Programs, SharePoint 2010 Products, SharePoint 2010 Central Admin. In this side, the first thing I want to show you is in System Settings go to Manage Services on Server. 
there's two searches in here SharePoint foundation search and SharePoint server search you need to make sure that the SharePoint foundation search is stopped and SharePoint server search was started if this is the state then everything is working fine go back to central administration go to application management in here go to manage service applications first go to search service application in here you will see a link to content sources on the side click on that link you can see that there's two new content sources here Microsoft Dynamics AX this is for the data like customers name telephone number all those things and this is for metadata like the purchase orders, sales orders all the metadata stored in the system you can see for data we have an incremental crawl scheduled at 12 a.m. each day and for metadata we just crawl it once we've assumed that the metadata doesn't change if it does change you can start an incremental crawl or a full crawl by clicking on this and if you do start a crawl I'll show you where you can check out the status so let's say I want to start this crawl right now so I'm going to do start incremental crawl and you can see the status here but better yet you know you can go back to the search administration page and in here if you scroll a little bit down you will see all the crawl history so you can see that we already had two full crawls and I just started an incremental crawl one other thing you can see on this page is the search crawler account so this is the default content access account if you wish to change it you can always click on this to bring up the dialog and change the account so you can do that here as well next go back to central administration again the same path application management manage service applications this time click on business data connectivity services in here you will see some queries that we are using in Dynamics AX these are the queries that SharePoint is going through and indexing the data so these are the queries that we marked as searchable and I will show you how to do that later in the video but there's web link vendor enterprise search all these are queries that have been marked searchable within AX and SharePoint is using these queries to index all the data so once you add more queries in here you can come back to this page and check whether they appear here successfully now that we've successfully installed enterprise search in Dynamics AX we've also verified in SharePoint central admin that all the settings are correct let's see the search in action so here I am in the sales module in enterprise portal say I want to search for an employee or a customer named Julia I can simply type Julia and you can see it gives me direct links to all the results it finds it even gives me directions so the next time I can go to team and my employees and go and find Julia directly instead of searching but I can always click on this and see Julia's details right here so that was a search for data because Julia is an employee name it's stored as data in our database similarly if you were to search for something like John you would get some results for data say we want to search now for metadata like where do I open sales orders so I can just type in sales order hit enter and it will automatically give me that as well so I can click on this link and I will be taken to the new sales order dialog so you see you can search for both data and metadata all sorts of queries whatever you have marked as searchable in your system will be available and visible to you and it is a very rich and nice experience and makes it very easy for users to find the information really quickly and it also helps them learn so that next time they can find this information directly by navigating an enterprise portal next I want to show you how you can customize search in AX to include more data for example here I am on the purchase orders list page and I have vendors called Fabricam or televisions if I search for any of these vendors right now I will not get any hits that's because the, this data is currently not being indexed let me show you how you can add this to the search results start the AX client and open up a development workspace the goal is to find the query that is being used on the page in my case it's a list page 
I know it is based on this form. If I go to the data sources, I can see the query being used. I'm going to go now to the queries node and find that query. When you select the query in the properties, you will see a property called searchable. You want to set that to yes. What our wizard does is it goes through all the queries that have been marked searchable and it indexes all the data returned by those particular queries. So you want to set this property to yes. Next, I recommend that you right click on this, go to add-ins and check best practices. In my case, you will see I have an error. What happens is if there are these best practice errors, then your query will not be indexed and you will not know why it is not being done. So this is one of the things that I recommend that you check. If there are best practice errors, then you need to address them for your query to be indexed. So let me go ahead and fix this best practice error and then I can resume the screencast. I've gone ahead and addressed the issues and made the changes. So now when I right click on this and go add-ins, check best practices, you see there are no errors being shown. For the changes to be take effect, we've marked the query searchable. We need to restart the AOS and the SharePoint service, search service. So go to Start, Administrator Tools, Services. In here, look for SharePoint search service. Restart the service. And we also want to restart the AOS. Restart this as well. Now start the client in admin mode. So if you're not already running as administrator, you want to right click and do run as administrator. Once it is up, you want to navigate to system administration. I'm already in that area. Go to search and select search configuration. Click on that to bring up the wizard. In here, click next. You can see that it's hooking up to business data connectivity services. Here there's an option to start a full crawl of the content source at the end of the wizard. I'm going to uncheck that. Instead, like it says in here, I'm, I can do that in SharePoint Central Admin as I showed earlier. I'm going to start an incremental crawl instead. I'm going to hit next. Now on the next screen you should see a list of all the queries in the application explorer in the AOT that have been marked as searchable. Here you can see that we also have our purchase table list page query, the one that we marked searchable. We can select it to be published to the business data catalog for SharePoint. If you wish to you could select all fields or select individual fields that you want to appear. So you can select this option, then hit select and choose the fields that you want. I, I'm simply going to select all fields. I'm going to hit next. Here it's informing me that it's going to index all these queries and publish it to BDC. I'm going to hit finish here since I'm done. And now it is indexing all the queries. and once it is done, we will be able to search the data in Dynamics AX. Here's the message indicating that this completed successfully. So now let's go open up SharePoint Central Admin to start an incremental crawl. In here, go to Application Management, Manage Service Applications. If you click on Business Data Connectivity Service, you should see your query listed here now, Purchase Tables List Page go back click on search service applications in here click on content sources in the left nav as we said before this is for data this content source is for data and this is for metadata we want to start an incremental crawl for data so I'm going to click on this and select start incremental crawl you can see the status says starting here if you go back to the search administration page you can even see the crawl history so this is the incremental crawl that we just started. You can click on the refresh button here to keep refreshing and checking the status. At the end of the crawl you should see a bunch of success in uh, a number here. 
you know how many indexes it went through and the errors should ideally be zero so let's wait for that to come back and then we can resume the video the crawl has now ended and as you can see it has indexed around 1300 new items and there are no errors so everything went well now let's go to enterprise portal and try to search for some of the newly indexed data so I'm going to go back to the procurement module so let's now search for say Fabricam earlier we did not get any hits for that you can see there's a bunch of purchase orders open for Fabricam so now when I search for Fabricam I should see a list of those purchase orders appearing in the search results so there you go you can see all these purchase orders that have been opened for Fabricam being now shown in the search results similarly if I search for Earth or Earth televisions I can see the purchase orders for that as well so you saw how easy it was to mark a query as searchable and then have it indexed by AX and have it appear in here in the search that's how you can enable custom scenarios and have the data that you want appear easily in search enabling users to quickly find the information that they need in this video we took a detailed look at enterprise search in Microsoft Dynamics AX how it empowers users to quickly find business information and we also saw how you can extend it to make more data searchable hope you enjoyed watching this video please join us again for the next one